1,000 subscriber special. Wait, seriously? There's a thousand of you out there? I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I started this channel just because I wanted to show people what it's like to not really have the money to hire people to do stuff for you and just generally be forced to fix shit not knowing how to do it all the fucking time. So I'm glad there's there's a bunch of yous with me. Thank you. And now, back to your regular programming. A useless handbrake, you say? Let me show you what that looks like. As you can see, we've got a really mighty incline here. Handbrake up, release the brake, release the clutch. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So first, we're gonna need to lift the car, and of course, safety first, so chalk the wheels. The rear diff is a good lift point if you want to get both the rear wheels off at the same time. Use jack stands, either on the pinch welds or on the frame rails. Here's a pro tip. Break the lug nuts loose before you lift the damn car. Here's another pro tip. An impact gun or ratcheting wrench can save you a shitload of time. 17 millimeter lugs. Let's release that handbrake. Some of the newer Subarus have a nice little access hole to adjust the pads that are on the inside which press up against the rotor, but we're not so lucky. This is an older 06 Subaru Forester, so we're gonna have to take that rotor off. To take off the caliper, we've got two 14 millimeter bolts here. Breaker bar, preferably using a six pointed socket so we don't strip the nuts, the bolts, but use what we got and then Palm that baby. Set that aside somewhere. Don't just let it hang because you don't want to break the, the hose here. Now we're gonna need to get rid of this bracket. It is being held by two 14 millimeter bolts. One here, one down there. It's got a bolt and a nut gonna be different from what holds the caliper, so keep those bolts separate. Now, comes another fun part if you're dealing with rust. Sometimes this rotor is extreme pain in the ass to get rid of. I'm lucky. But if you're not so lucky, there is something you can do. The very same bolt that you removed, you can thread it in here. And as you thread it in, it'll actually push up against the inside here and it'll help you slide this baby off. Our brake shoes, these inner brake pads for the e-brake, the handbrake, whatever the hell you want to call it. What happens is obviously these, these get worn out and even if you pull up on your e-brake, they come out but they don't come close enough to touch the inner wall of your rotor. Well, what you can do is you can adjust them to go out farther. Now is also a great time to brake clean this stuff. Neutral. And break down, I'm gonna show you something. I put the rotor back on. I can rotate the rotor, no problem. Now I'm gonna put the handbrake up. Yes, it's clearly grinding, but I can still move it. And that's the biggest problem. Look to this little wheel here, right here, and enjoy it. If we use a flathead screwdriver and we just pull it down, it should spread these pads apart. So let's test that theory. I'm gonna put the rotor back on. Handbrake back up. Let's see if it works better this time. All right. It just became a hell of a lot harder to move. You're gonna wanna adjust it to the point where obviously it is not rubbing while your handbrake is down. But if it's up, you want it to be pretty much fully immobilized. Once you're reasonably satisfied with your work, Put that shit all back together in reverse. Montage time. And now, do it all over again on the other side because you love it so much. Only thing that's different here is the direction in which you're pounding your breaker bar, which is up. The other, on the driver's side we're doing down, passenger side we do up. Once your car is back down on the ground when you're done, I sternly remind you 
to tighten those lug nuts or else you'll be in a full world of pain when your fucking wheels fall off on the freeway. Ultimate test onto the ramp. Alright, handbrake up, gear neutral, foot off the clutch, look at that, look at this shit and love it. Peace of mind while being parked on a hill is a big deal. I love it. Release that handbrake, up, and here we go, Boop. handbrake back up, look at that, beautiful. And that's all I have for you today. Ratchet like if you enjoyed the video, and screw the subscribe button if you found it useful. I'm off to go fall off my skateboard. Thanks for watching.